Okay guys, so today we are doing an enzyme lab. All right, so um, the enzyme lab is going to look like this. Now instead of you guys doing it yourself, I recorded uh, me doing this lab so that you could just follow along with me and record my results and then answer the questions in the assignment. Okay, so instead of you doing this, you're just going to watch me do this. But what you need to do is while you're following along, I gave you a link to a spreadsheet that I made for you guys that looks like this. And as you go, uh, as I go, I'm going to uh, give you the information to put into these different blanks. And then you're actually going to put it into your copy and finish that turn this in as one part of your assignment and then go to the assignment over here answer some questions uh, about it and then turn that in as another assignment okay but let's go back to the um, lab okay so first before I show you the lab I need to explain what what we're what the lab is about okay and the, the lab today is about enzymes and specifically, it's about the lactase enzyme. So there's an enzyme in your body called lactase. Remember, all enzymes end with A-S-E. Um, so this enzyme lactase, um, enzymes speed up chemical reactions, right? So uh, what this lactase enzyme does is it speeds up the breakdown of a sugar called lactose. And you've probably heard this before because you've probably heard of some people being lactose intolerant. Now, um, people who take in lactose into their body, what's supposed to happen is that this molecule of lactose here is supposed to get broken down by this enzyme called lactase. Um, and so lactose is actually two, it's one big molecule but it's actually made up of two smaller sugar molecules. Lactose is a sugar, okay? Anything that ends in O's is a sugar. So lactose is a sugar. And uh, it's actually one big molecule made up of two smaller sugar molecules. So what lactase is supposed to do is it's supposed to take this one big molecule of lactose and break it up right here. It's supposed to break that bond between the two smaller sugar molecules and break it up into these two smaller sugar molecules here. This one's called glucose and this one's galactose. Once again, they both end in O's. So that's how you know they're sugars. Okay. So once again, lactose goes in your body. The lactase enzyme comes along, breaks that bond between these two sugar molecules, and separates them into two separate sugar molecules of glucose and galactose. So that's what lactase is supposed to do. So if um, lactase is doing its job, then you should see the level of glucose in your bloodstream go up because you had lactose, and lactase broke that up into these two molecules, glucose and galactose. So the lab we're going to do today is going to test how well this enzyme lactase works at breaking this sugar molecule of lactose up into glucose and galactose. And the way it's going to do that is by measuring the amount of glucose in the blood after lactase has been given time to do its job. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to test the effects of temperature and pH on how well lactase can do its job. Okay, so we're going to do lactase um, we're going to run the experiment and we're going to put some lac uh, lactase enzyme into a vial. So imagine that this vial here is uh, full of some uh, lactose, okay? 
and if we add a lactase enzyme to it, it should break up the lactose into glucose and galactose. And so this graph is going to measure how much glucose is in this vial here after so much time. So we have minutes along the bottom, 0 to 20, and we have uh, glucose, the amount of glucose on the left side here. So we're going to test this at different temperatures and we're going to see how much glucose ends up in the blood um, at those different temperatures. So we're going to test it at 0 degrees Celsius, 20, 40, 60, 80, and also we're going to test it at different pH levels. We're going to test it at a pH of 1, 4, 7, 10, and 13. We're going to do 5 of each, and, that's going, and then we're going to get an average. And then we're going to look at the averages and see what the best temperature is that lactase enzyme works at and what the best pH level that that enzyme works at is. Okay, so let's do it. All right, so we're going to start off with zero degrees Celsius, and we're going to do that five times, and we're going to get the average. Now, I'm not going to calculate the average for you. I'm going to have you do that. But we're going to change the temperature here. This is temperature. We can change that to zero. And now I'm going to run it. So this was trial one at zero degrees Celsius. The blue line is trial one and we got zero. So we're going to put zero here. I'm going to do a second run. Also zero. Guess what? We can make this fast because we're going to do all five uh, trials. So I just clicked to do five trials and each trial it was nothing. So in other words, there was zero conversion of lactose into glucose. This enzyme did not convert any of this lactose into glucose at zero degrees Celsius, which just happens to be freezing temperatures. So there's no wonder that um, it didn't do anything. So now let's change the temperature to 20 degrees Celsius. We'll do that five times and see how that works. So I'm going to reset, change the temperature to 20, hit run, and now after 20 minutes, we have a score of 491. You can see it down there underneath the blue line, underneath run one, it says 491. Okay, so that is how much um, glucose was made at 20 degrees Celsius for run one. What was it? 491? Do it again. Trial two, the red line. If you click and hold, it'll show you 487. Oh, I forgot. We're supposed to calculate how many how many per minute, and that was over 20 minutes. But it doesn't matter. We're gonna skip. We're just gonna write down the raw numbers. It'll work out to be the same. Okay. Um, let's do it again. Okay, run three is going to be 477. Okay, and I'm not going to keep going back and putting in the numbers. You guys get the drift, okay? So you're just going to follow me along. Run four is 479, right down there. 479. So go back and put that in here. 
run five. After 20 minutes of activity, we have 485. Okay, so the higher the number, the more that was made, and the lower the number, the less that was made. Pretty easy, right? So 485 for that number there. All right, let's reset. So now you should have this column filled. We're going to do 40 degrees Celsius. I'm just going to go ahead and run it five times. Okay. So each time we hit run, it's simulating a 20 minute uh, trial. So after 20 minutes, these numbers down here that just popped up underneath those colored lines, that's how much glucose was made after 20 minutes. So run one was 498. You need to put that in trial one for uh, 40 degrees Celsius. For trial two at 40 degrees Celsius, you're going to put 497. Trial three, 494. Trial four, 492. Trial five, 494. Okay. Now I'm going to go through a little bit quicker. We did 40, now we got to do 60 and 80. Let's do 60. Run. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so we did five trials at 60 degrees Celsius. And you can see the numbers are getting lower. So here's the numbers that you need to put in. Trial 1, 145. Trial 2, 141. Trial 3, 129. Trial 4, 124. Trial 5, 138. Put those numbers in here. And then go to 80 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to hit reset. Go to 80 degrees Celsius. Do five trials. One, two, three, four, five. Guess what? Every one was zero. Zeros all the way across. So zero glucose was made at a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. So you put zeros all the way down and then average that here at the bottom. Okay, now we're going to do pH. So I'm going to actually have to do this in a separate video. I'll load that video um, separately.